So, if I remember right, you played in Minnesota. Was it week one last year? Yes. And then yes, you, have, you haven't played in a regular season game since, correct? No. It's so. kind of weird that it's just kind of pulling back to the same place. I know. It, it's uh, God works his, his mysterious ways, man. And he throws me in the fire out here, and, and I'm going to Minnesota, so. Uh, it's nothing much to me. Uh, I don't elevate the situation as as is. Uh, I take the same approach as every other player does here in this in the team. So I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'm curious though, like you, you get elevated your first game and you think, oh, this, you know, I'm probably gonna play a decent amount, of this, and then you just didn't play again. Was that how hard was that to, to process? Um, I, I mean. I reflected a lot off of that game. I had eight plays on defense, no special team reps, and and now I'm going in, you know, with some defensive reps and some special teams reps. And uh, the whole year last year, I, I just I, I put my head down and worked. Uh, I I never looked back. I learned a, a lot from those eight plays I had, and also the very little. Uh, experience I had that last year, uh, it, it meant a lot going into this off season, coming into this season now and see how much I've improved. Mike Smith has talked um, quite highly about you. Um, what, is, what does it mean to have him in your corner? Man, Coach Smith, he, uh, he, reminds, he reminds me a lot about me. You know, I, I, I feel like me and him are, are similar. A lot of different ways, and and I, I love I love Coach Smith. He he's he's really done a good job with with me and a bunch of other players, as you guys can see in my position room. Uh, he's a guy does a lot for us. He bends his back for us, and he does more than what people know uh, behind closed doors and when nobody's looking. He always just looking for something for us to give us an edge on the other opponent. And, he works very hard. He sets a great, great example for for us, for me and my, my other teammates. He's talked about your weight a couple of times. I, at least the uh, the media guys still issue at two twenty nine. Are you are you up over that? I think that's what you were when you got your yes. Uh, today I, I I'm I'm two forty today. We had our weigh ins today, and I was two forty. Uh, I feel good. I was a little stubborn rookie, thinking that you know, I. Don't need a game way. I'm good where I'm at. But then, as the game went on, as the year went up forward, I, I noticed that hey, man, I, I gotta, you know, put some put some meat on my bones, man. And, and I did. Uh, and, I, and I surely am looking forward to putting on more weight uh, as it as it comes, and not trying to overwhelm myself with very bad with a lot of bad weight. But you know, just slowly and surely, I, I'll, I'm getting there. Uh, Aaron Rodgers was telling us, I think it was the Bears game, when he had that shovel pass to Lazard for the touchdown, then he came over to you on the sideline and said, that's because you gave me that look in practice. Um, how have you kind of tried to make the most of, of your role on the scout team the past year and a half? Man, scout team, uh, I loved it. It, it. It's fun. I get to go against starters, and I get to go against you know one of the most elite quarterbacks in the league ever. And, I get to pick up stuff that uh, that kind of puts you ahead of other quarterbacks that you're going to be going against. I, I, it's kind of hard to explain, but he, uh, I, I, I love scout team. I learned a lot from it. Uh, get to fly around, um, but I've most definitely took took the time, which is every rep, and learned my technique and learned what I need to do, how to fix my eyes, what I should do, where I should be, certain leverages. So I had, after a year and a half, and now you know, they called me up. So it, it's cool, man. I, I, I most definitely will be looking out for some more scout team reps if they give me a chance. So building off that, was something you've maybe picked up from Aaron Rodgers the past year and a half that you didn't know when you got here? His cadence is probably my worst enemy. <laughs> uh, he's, he's very good at, at that. And, and he, he's he's a nonchalant guy, you know. He he doesn't look like he's uh, he catches you slipping a lot, you know. He 
as you don't know, but he knows. He doesn't look, he don't look like he knows, but he does. So he, he, he'll catch people, you know, off track at times. And so he keeps me on my toes. Uh, but yeah, I, me and him, we will have, we'll share a few smiles after a play or two. If they're trying to trick me or trying to do something around me. So it's fun. Like it. How has this week looked different for you though? This week, no. Uh, I I tried to get some scout team reps, but they said, no, you're good. And I got one, but uh, yeah, they pushed me off and kind of using the energy and the explosion of everything I used and try to learn while using the, uh, on that special team, I mean, on the scout team, try to use it now towards the game reps that we have. And that's what I, I, I am working on and what I've been working on lately is transitioning from the film room, from the energy and everything I do on the scout team, uh, putting it and focusing it towards the game and how I can use those abilities against the Vikings this week. TV, you obviously you know, know Jordan well from playing with him in college. What has it been like seeing him grow this last year and a half? And what was it like seeing him get that opportunity against Kansas City and, and how he's kind of grown in practice these last couple of weeks? Oh, man. I, that's my man right there. He, uh, it's always good, you know, chopping up with him, seeing him. It's, it's, uh, it's cool to, to me and him. We'll reflect back or look back at the days in, in Logan, Utah. And uh, it's cool. I, 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 was very, I was very proud of him. I was happy for him. And uh, I, I loved how poised he was the whole week, even in, during the game. Uh, he looked like he was controlling himself very well. He, he held his ground, and, and he did what he needed to do. And he, I, I commend him for that. I, really, I was very proud of him. I know you don't want to see your teammates go down, but this is a hell of an opportunity here, isn't it, for you? Yeah, I mean, same thing as, as it was growing up, playing football. One guy goes down, the next man is up. Uh, I don't see it any different than that. And of course, we, 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 we'd all love to see, you know, players to stay healthy. But the game is the game, and that stuff happens. So. Yeah, I think it's more on how you react is how you overcome it. How are you going to react? I'll do my best. Uh, I, I've learned a lot from this group of guys I have in my, in my room, my position room. Uh, Z, Preston, RG, Rambo, Jonathan. Uh, I learned a lot off of these guys. And I feed off of them. And, you know, they, they always help me if I have any questions. They're always willing to help me out. And I'm excited to go go with go in the game with them this Sunday. Who's your favorite golfer? <laughs> Tony Finau is my favorite golfer. <laughs> I was gonna see him too. <laughs> you were gonna say Tiger. <laughs> oh man. You know, I, I I thought I was good at golf, but I watched Tony play and say, man, I guess I'll just stick to football. <laughs> but it's always good. I, 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 love, I love golf. It, it, it's my favorite hobby. And I love watching it. I always thought it was boring growing up. But now when you know what's going on, oh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's interesting. Those guys are amazing. What's so, Tony like? What was that? What's Tony like? Oh, Tony, he's a, he's a very humble guy. He's, he's a cool guy. He's down to earth. Uh, you can... Talk to him about anything, man, and he, he, he's a very chill guy. That's my man right there. Is that your brother-in-law? Uh, no, that's, uh, so her, he's married to my first cousin. Okay. And she, you know, we all, we're all very close. All the Polynesians, we're tightly knit. And so yeah, that's basically a cousin to me, but close enough. I just wanted to see if you were going to pick family over uh, somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I wish I could play like them, but they probably wish they could play like us, too. So.